The pandemic has affected Election Day, of course. Joining our Sally Hernandez to talk about health and safety considerations that were made, plus an expensive decision by former Vice President Joe Biden, Alana Rocha of the Texas Tribune. Alana, Joe Biden ran his first general election TV ad here in Texas this week. Pretty expensive. What is he hoping to get out of that expensive ad? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, Texas isn't always a sound decision to for Democrats to uh, spend here, being the number of media markets and whatnot. It's not a, a small investment, but, uh, you know, recent polls show Biden within striking distance of uh, Donald Trump uh, in historically red Texas. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, we'll see, you know, the polls, obviously, we saw in 2016 don't always uh, show exactly what will happen, but, uh, you know, that's giving him, uh, you know, reason to spend also recent polls um well the recent polls and the the coronavirus the 60 second spot um highlights the dire situation in this state florida uh arizona are all in and, and biden is trying to show leadership on that issue in contrast to trump you're right we don't know what's going to happen in november but we know um what happened just a few days ago the first texas election during the pandemic it is over what were some of the things that we learned the bright spots problems? Yeah, I mean, voters uh, who went in person to cast a ballot, um, you know, said it ran relatively smoothly, lots of hand sanitizer and social distancing. Um, and again, that's for the polling places that opened. Uh, what happened here was that in some major cities, uh, San Antonio, Bear County, um, they got word the day before the election that poll workers said they wouldn't be showing up. Uh, you know, we know often poll workers are older, um, maybe more at risk of contracting the virus. And so they didn't want to risk it. And so the state had to, or the that county had to close a couple of locations. Um, Mail-in ballots, people who said they requested them in plenty of time, said they either didn't receive them or they filled them out, mailed them in and then got them returned uh, unopened. And so I had to send them back in, wondering if their vote will actually be cast. And then the state had a number of issues, technical glitches in reporting the results. As you mentioned, all those precautions because of COVID-19. And when, right. we, when we look at those cases, a lot of Texas hospitals say they're running low on supplies and space. What is the impact of the shortages as the COVID-19 numbers only continue to go up? Yeah, I mean, uh, some of the hardest hits are, are obviously the major cities here in the state, uh, the Valley down in South Texas, Central Texas, uh, you know, various circumstances, you know, ambulance crews waiting up to 10 hours uh, in the Valley wow. to uh, deliver cor coronavirus patients. Uh, normally that time is 30 minutes, but the hospitals are trying to find space for them. So that not only, you know, takes that crew out of, you know, the circulation to respond to other emergencies, but it also leaves them with a, a COVID positive patient in tight quarters for a long time, even though they're wearing protective gear. Uh, you know, we've seen the, the governor, um, ban elective surgeries. That's a lucrative uh, line item for a lot of these hospitals, especially rural hospitals. So that's money not coming in when they need to ramp up uh, supplies and, and whatnot uh, to address the coronavirus demand. So it's a lot of intricacies, a lot of, uh, you know, just stress on the system as a whole. Alana, always good to see you. Thank you for breaking that down for us. Thank you. Bye-bye.